The Earth experiences seasons because of the tilt of its axis. The Earth has a tilt because an object that is estimated to be the size of Mars collided with Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. A chunk of Earth was knocked off and ended up becoming our Moon, which actually keeps the Earth tilting at about 23.5 degrees with its gravity. But what if this object didn't hit the Earth and caused it to tilt on its axis? Today, life's biggest questions asks. What if there were no seasons? Hello and welcome back to LBQ. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell us in the comments below a question you have always wanted to know the answer to. The tilt of the Earth changes the amount of sunlight that hits the northern and southern hemispheres. This is what causes our seasons. But do we really need seasons? I mean, I know I'm speaking for at least a few people when I say that I could live without winter. In short, the answer is yes, we do need seasons. Without them, our planet would be almost unrecognizable and its inhabitants would live life very differently. If the Earth had no seasons, it would mean that the Earth did not tilt on its axis, which would then mean that the Earth would get colder the further away you were from the equator. Humans would probably not survive the year-round winter that would take place in countries like Canada and Russia. Most of the Earth's population would live close to the equator, the tropical midsection. If you want to know what life without seasons would be like for the average person on Earth, you would have to look at what life is like in the tropics. Places like Costa Rica, Central Africa, the Caribbean, and Southeast Asia. The days and nights would be the same length all year round, and the average temperature would not change all that much day to day. That might sound alright, but according to Don Atwood, an ecological anthropologist at McGill University, if it weren't for Earth's seasons, humans would probably never have advanced past the state of living in small, scattered settlements, scrounging for survival and often dying of horrific insect-borne diseases. Well that doesn't sound too good. Let me explain. Living in the tropics comes with tropical thunderstorms. Lots of them. And rain makes it very difficult for crops to grow, because it washes away soil. This would make farming very difficult. Certain crops rely on seasons. We wouldn't have things like wheat, corn, potatoes, oats, and barley, which either only grow or grow much better when there are winters. All of those crops have helped feed the world for centuries. Without them, it's difficult to imagine how Earth could sustain a very large population, or solve famines and periods without as much food. Humid, lowland tropical areas only have low population densities. When you've got low population, Population density and low agriculture productivity, humans settle in scattered settlements. This means that modern civilization could not exist without the seasons because there's no way it would have developed. Without seasons, we would also have to deal with the effect of a lot more insect borne diseases. With rain come insects. Insects thrive in humid, warm environments. Winter might seem pretty lame, but one thing winter actually protects us from is tropical insects that carry deadly pathogens like malaria and Ebola. HIV is another disease that was born in the tropics that managed to escape. But without seasons, there will be far more deaths every year due to pathogens. That includes livestock deaths. Similarly, without seasons, there would be no mass animal migrations. Breeding would occur all year round. There would be no need for certain animals to hibernate. Yes, winters can be long and depressing, but winter has played a vital role in advancing our civilization. The Industrial Revolution would not have taken place if there was no such thing as winter. In the 18th century, the growing population of Europe needed heat because there were fewer and fewer forests left. Coal was then used to heat people's homes and businesses. From there, coal was used to power other machinery. So you see, life on Earth exists the way it does because of the seasons. Without them, our big blue planet would be a far different place than it is now. I'm Charlotte Dobre and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you want to continue on your quest for answers, check out our playlist Biggest What Ifs, clickable on the screen right now. As always, make sure you turn on those notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss one of our videos.